Hey everyone, we're just taking our dog for a walk. And I had a question the other day, or what are some of the things that have kind of changed my career, changed my life in tattooing? And I just thought I'd share some thoughts with you guys. I'd say like maybe out of the five things, number one would be to not be afraid of the clock. A tattoo takes whatever it takes. If it takes you all day, if you're the kind of person that it just takes all day, then hey, it takes all day. Um, I will say that I have had a, a really amazing artist. Oh, there's a super cute dog, by the way. <laughs> I had a, maybe you can see it here. That's my dog, Finn, but there's, there you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Have to stop for the dogs. Yeah. Um, anyway, don't be afraid of the clock. It takes what it takes. But I will say that I have had an amazing artist named Harley Brown, a painter. And he told me, well, in a book, he didn't tell me directly. He said to paint a little faster than you think you should. And this keeps your artistic brain on. It makes you not really second guess everything. You know, sometimes in a painting or a tattoo, that one kind of brush stroke will be my favorite thing that I do. And I might not have done that if I was in more of the, uh, of the mode of just trying to be so perfect. So tattoo a little bit faster than you think you should. Now, obviously if you're a new tattooer and you're not seasoned, probably not the best advice. But if you know what you're doing and you can do a good clean scar-free tattoo, tattoo a little bit faster than you think you should and it'll keep that artistic mind open and let you take and make bold moves. Number two, I would say spoil to show. spoil yourself. You know, like my dad taught me early on, if you're gonna buy a tool, buy the most, buy the best tool you can buy, buy the best tool you can afford. You know, you don't wanna buy some cheap equipment to where you end up, you know, just replacing it all the time, or it's causing you to do poor work and you're struggling and you don't know why your work doesn't look like other people's and it's actually down to your equipment. So make sure you spoil yourself, buy the best equipment you can afford. If you don't have enough money to get the machine that you want, figure it out, you know what I mean? Get, it, get, get your stuff together and figure it out. Buy the best machine that you can afford. Buy the best ink and the best equipment that you can afford. And I just think that it, these things are gonna just go easier for you. The third thing communication. is communication. You know, and this is something that I, I kind of had a hard time learning. <clears throat> I remember somebody wrote me one time and they wanted an eagle and I sent them a really cool reference that I liked and I really wanted to do. It had great contrast. And they wrote me back that they wanted it to look more hungry. Now, as silly as that sounds, I didn't really understand what they meant. I didn't really know what to do. I ended up just not doing the tattoo. But at the end of the day, if you can just communicate with your client and just figure out what exactly it is that they're after, they might struggle with explaining what they want by saying they want it more hungry. But if you can communicate with them, you can go into the shop the next day and you can, you can be confident and excited to tattoo. You know, after about 10 years of tattooing, I got pretty bad burnout. And I wanna kinda of keep that from happening to me again or happening to you. And so it happens when you're excited about your tattoo. You wanna be, be excited, you wanna to skip to the shop because you can't wait to do this awesome, hungry eagle. <laughs> uh, the fourth thing, I got a list here, hold on one second. Preparation. Preparation, yeah, be prepared. He who does the most homework wins. So you really wanna make sure that you make your stencils of the night before. I use Procreate. If you don't have an iPad and you don't use the Procreate app, I highly suggest that you get it. It just makes it, for me, monumentally easier to make a nice clean stencil. I'm sitting on the couch watching TV with my wife anyway. I just take my iPad out and I just take time to make a nice clean stencil now. So the next day, I'm not making it on the client's time while they're hanging over my shoulder asking me questions and asking me to change this or that. I show up to the shop prepared. It just makes my job a lot easier. I always say that I've got 30 years experience in this business now and learn from my mistakes, you know? So definitely be prepared. And the final thing, probably one of the most important things, is just to be honest with yourself. You know, like, don't be afraid to like, print out your pictures every month or so and just lay them out and just be brutally honest with yourself. Like, is this really where I wanna be? Is, is this tattoo actually good quality? Could I have done better? Like, don't fool yourself. I knew when I sucked, you know? Don't fool yourself to think because your shop mates are telling you how good something is because they're afraid to critique you because it'll hurt your feelings. Be honest with yourself. Don't be mean to yourself, but just be honest with yourself. And it's gonna help you progress further as an artist, as a tattooer. So anyway, those are five things that I think really helped me out. Hopefully it helped you guys out as well. I hope you have a great day. Thanks guys.